Welcome back again, rum lovers. We are here today with another delicious rum. This is the Plantation Rum, Isle of Fiji. So Plantation Rum is pretty ubiquitous across the United States. Everywhere I go, I see Plantation Rum bottles. It's been something I've been seeing for the last five plus years now, maybe 10 years now. Plantation Rum was created by Alexander Gabriel back in the 1990s. He basically combed the, the world, called the Caribbean, especially for delicious rums and developed this brand called Plantation Rum where there's tons of releases from different parts of the world. There's Fiji, there's Trinidad, there's Guyana, Jamaica, and sometimes there's older rums like 10 years, 12 years, and then there's the younger rums that are pretty typical, you know, everyday sipper mixer type of rums. So one of the things about Plantation Rums is the presentation. Most of the bottles are similar to this similar shape and some of the unique ones have this nice thatch wrapping all around it. Uh, beautiful presentation, beautiful label, very bright, very eye-catching and there's a lot of detail that is presented to us from Plantation. Plantation is one of those brands that are pretty transparent on their labeling, pretty transparent on the things you could find from them. You know sometimes there are they, they, arguments you know in the rum community about these things but I think that this bottle does a pretty good job. It says double age, uh, double barrel rum. Um, it was aged in Fiji Islands and then in France. Uh, they call out the master blender, Andre Gabriel. Uh, it's 40%. And in the back, it says from pristine lagoons to the fresh, lush jungles, Plantation Isle of Fiji is an ode to the beauty of Fiji Island. Its delicious rum is made using traditional techniques and local Fiji sugar cane. First age, no less than two years in the tropics climate in, in, in Bourbon cast, the rum is then sailed to the southwest of France for one more year of maturation in French oak. This double barrel method paired with Fijian know-how creates a rum with warm notes, exotic fruits and raisins. So that's just some of the information here on the bottle. I really like the bottle. Like I went to the store, I saw it and I was like, man, I gotta get it. I was surprised that it came in about $25, $27. Let's move on to the pork. Nice snuff pork. A rubber top, this is a plastic top, but nice decent pork. So as you can see on the appearance, I like golden color. See around some legs. So it didn't really have much age. I think what we said, two years plus one in in France. So can't really expect much of much of legs on this. Yeah, legs are pretty thin, they're forming already. But that's what you can expect from this age of one. Nice nose. Mm, nice nose. You get some citrusy notes on the nose. I would say high in citrus and pretty sweet. You get some some fruits on the nose as well. Some banana. Oh, it, it, it gives me a lot of funk. A good bit of funk. Slight vegetal note. Okay, that's enough for the nose. Let's go on to the taste. Okay, so on the taste, a bit of burn on the edge of my tongue, the tip of my tongue, a bit of sweetness, a bit of vegetal, a bit of banana yeah, I'm really getting almost like a, a clement I get a side that type of what's it that type of herbal herbal, herbal notes what I always like to do 
compare my TSA notes to the expert TSA notes. And today's TSA note comes from the fat rum pirate. He went all into you know a lot of details on this rum, and I want to express those details to you today. So he says that the rums come from the Fiji Rum Company, and they're gathered from canes that are grown in Fiji, and then they are fermented for four to five days. He also says it's a blend of pot and column still. So the rum is then aged in ex bourbon cars for two to five years, which was previously previously stated in my other research. And there's also a note where there's a 16 grams per liter of additives, which is usually sugar syrup. So this is where a lot of people in the rum industry kind of say, hey, there's added sugar there. So, you know, there's always the purists that kind of, you know, are against the sugar. It was decent to me. It was sweeter, but not like overbearingly sweet. It was definitely a well-balanced rum, in my opinion. It's aged in Fiji for two to three years, and then it's moved through to um, Maison Ferran in France where it's aged for another year in Konya cast. And they also, he also states that there's color caramel added. Punchy notes of burnt banana, ginger, and a touch of honey. He also says that it was a bit short. The finish wasn't the longest, it's fade quickly. Okay, let me, let me see if I can get some of these. So focus on the banana. I definitely got the banana, I recall ginger and a touch of honey. Let's try for the ginger. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I can see the ginger. So, burnt banana, definitely. Honey, you get that, that sweet, subtle, that, that subtle sweetness. The ginger, I get something there, there, there is that, 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 it's cool. you know that, that's, that, mm, how do you describe ginger? <laughs> ginger is so unique in its own self. But there is somewhat of a ginger note to me. To me, I do get more herbal, which I didn't get his description of. So, the verdict. This rum is $26 here in Florida. It really reminds me of a rum agricole, like a Clement. Um, surprisingly, it's made from molasses. And that kind of probably tones down the vegetable note a lot. So to me, it is closer to that, that, that French style, but reminds you, it gives you some, some reminiscent flavors and some reminiscent notes of the molasses base rum. So I think it's unique, which is what I'm all about. I love having unique rum, so this is one of them. And for $26, definitely a must try. And I'm sure a lot of people would really like it. I really didn't get too into this, but I definitely am not upset with the purchase. You know, it's just one of those things you break it out every so often. And I feel like over time, when I just opened this bottle, the vegetable note to me, it stood up a lot more. But as the bottle breathed a little, the vegetable note kind of calmed down. It reminded me less of a rum agricole and the the molasses traditional rum flavors kind of shone through a bit more and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more. So definitely a must try. Mm, not, I wouldn't say it's a must buy, you know, it's, it's, but it's a good rum. It's definitely a good rum. And if you, if you try it, you probably would buy it. You probably would buy it. It is, it is a, a very good tasting rum. So that's been my review. So like, comment and subscribe for more great rum reviews. I take you around the world one rum at a time. Cheers.